Hello viewers, welcome to my channel KK Concepts of Electrical Engineering Divergence So in the previous videos we have seen how to find the electric field and density by using the Gaussian law in which we have considered symmetrical Gaussian surfaces. In the absence of symmetry, flux density is not constant over an entire surface. It becomes practically impossible to evaluate the surface integral. In order to overcome this difficulty, we assume a very small closed surface such that flux density is almost constant over the entire surface. As surface size decreases, as surface size decreases, the accuracy increases. This emerges the concept of divergence. The divergence of the vector flux density d is the outflow of flux from a small closed surface per unit volume. As the volume shrinks to zero, mathematically it is represented with divergence of d equals to limit delta v tends to 0 closed integral d dot ds divided by delta v. Now to explain this, I am considering a box in electric field with the sides this is delta x along the x-axis and delta y along the y-axis and delta z along the z-axis center of this is p x y and z then the volume delta v is given by for this delta x delta y and delta z now let d naught the value of flux density at p x y z coordinates of this d naught is dx naught dy naught dz naught d naught is given by dx naught ux plus d y naught uy plus d z naught uz. Now by Gaussian law, closed integral d dot ds equals to q. Now in order to evaluate this surface integral, we need to consider all six faces of the box. And hence, the integral is split into six integrals, which are added later. Closed surface, d dot ds equals to integral front plus integral back plus integral right plus integral left plus integral top plus integral bottom now let us find out integral front integral front equals to d front dot delta s front now d front is given by x component of d plus delta x divided by 2 rate of change of flux density with respect to x front equals to the surface area that is del y del z and the unit matrix along the x 
this surface is in yz plane normal vector will be ux now front equals to substituting these values dx naught plus delta x divided by 2 dou dx by dou x multiplied by delta y delta z integral back is given by d back dot s back minus dx naught backside surface flux density is normal to that surface which is going in negative x direction so i'm considering like this plus delta x divided by 2 and rate of change of x coordinate multiplied by backside surface area backside is again delta y and this one is delta z so delta y delta z of integral front plus integral back is equals to dx naught minus dx naught gets cancelled and you are going to get half of delta x half of delta x is delta x go by dx by dx delta y delta z or else do dx by do x delta x delta y delta z consider this as equation number one integral right that equals to d right delta s right the right side this one surface delta x and this is delta z so this delta s right delta x delta z ui then what about the d right d right equals to d y component plus delta y by 2 do dy by dy integral right is given by dy naught plus delta y by 2 do dy by dy multiplied by delta x delta z let us find out integral left then d left delta s left that equals to minus dy naught since the left side surface it is at back side plus del y by 2 do dy by dy delta s is again here we are having delta x and delta z only integral right plus integral left the negative value positive value of dy naught or y component gets cancelled and the remaining is dou dy by dou y multiplied by delta x delta z and this is half of the term half of the term delta y let this be equation number two integral top which given by d top dot delta s top now delta s top is given by delta y delta x along uz what about the d top d top is given by top surface so it is on xy plane so the normal is along the z axis then d top equal to z component plus delta z by 2 do dz naught divided by do z then integral top is given by d z naught plus delta z divided by 2 do dz naught by do z multiplied by delta y delta x integral bottom 
minus t z naught plus delta z divided by 2 do dz naught divided by do z delta y and delta x integral top plus integral bottom that equals to do dz naught divided by do z delta x delta y and delta z let this be equation number three close the surface integral d dot ds equals to do dx by do x plus do dy by do y plus do dz by do z multiplied by delta x delta y and delta z essentially you can write do dx by do x plus do dy by do y plus do dz by do z multiplied by delta v which is nothing but the volume the closed surface integral of d dot ds equals to this from Gauss's law closed surface integral d dot ds equals to q do dx by do x plus do dy by do y plus do dz by do z of delta v equals to charge q q equals to closed surface integral of d dot ds equals to do dx by do x plus do dy by do y plus do dz by do z of volume the value of q obtained by using this formula is approximate value so when you want more accurate value of q the volume should be less do dx by do x plus do dy by do y plus do dz by do z is equals to closed surface integral of d dot ds divided by delta v that equals to q by delta v that is limit delta v tends to 0 closed surface integral of d dot ds by delta v equals to limit delta v tends to 0 q by delta v this value is equals to rho v or volume charge density this is you can write this as rho by rho x plus rho by rho y plus rho by rho z of d or else this we can write as del d limit del v tends to zero closed surface integral of d dot ds by delta v which equals to rho this relation we can write del dot d equals to rho v this is one of the maxwell's equation also known as point or differential form of Gauss law or Gauss's law and it is applied in electrostatics and steady magnetic fields D equals to 20 xy square z plus 1 ux plus 20 x square y z plus 1 uy plus 10 x square y square uz coulombs per meter square 
find find divergence of d at p equals to 0 0.3 0 0.4 and 0 0.5 let us solve this divergence of d equals to do dx by do x plus do dy by do y plus do dz by do z now let us find out do dx by do x the partial integration of x term with respect to x then 20 y square z plus 1 now do dy by do y equals to now partial integration of y term that is 20 x square of z plus 1 do dz by do z equals to there is no z term in this so the value is 0 now divergence of d equals to add all these things then 20 y square z plus 1 plus 20 x square z plus 1 then you can take common 20 z plus 1 then y square plus x square substitute the values of x y and z then 20 z is 0.5 plus 1 is 1.5 then y is 0 0.4 that is 0 0.16 plus x is 0 0.3 that is 0 0.09 multiplied by 0 0.16 plus 0 0.09 is 0 0.25 divergence of d equals to 7.5 coulombs per meter cube since divergence of d is equals to volume charge density the units are coulombs per meter cube if you have any suggestions and queries please mention in the comments if you like this video please like share and subscribe thank you for watching the video please stay tuned for more videos